today I'm just doing a quick little kind of a day in the life hang out with me on a Saturday and I'll just give you a few glimpses of what we're doing today so yep that's it just uh, stay tuned <music> We didn't have dinner because pretty much that uh, Chili's meal was the only meal we needed for the day. So um, I'm still fasting. <laughs> but we uh, watched Sandra Bullock's um, Bird Box on Netflix last night. I have been wanting to see it, but I really have to be in the right mindset to watch a movie like that. I guess it was that that drink I had yesterday afternoon that relaxed me and I said yeah let's watch Bird Box so we did and it was actually really really good it wasn't what I expected it had a story to it and I know it's based on a novel I did not read the novel I wish now I might have to go read it because it just seems like there's more the story's trying to tell you something I don't know that's how it felt to me and uh, so yeah if you guys have seen Bird Box uh, let me know what you think or do you like movies like that uh, like I said we usually steer towards the more happy kind of happy feel good, romance comedies, uh, things like that. Um, but I do like uh, like anything that like Bruce Willis is in, like the um, Die Hard series, stuff like that. I'm a big fan of that kind of stuff. Uh, I don't know why, but yeah. So, um, oh, and sci-fi. I love sci-fi um, and yeah. Okay, some big Trekkie and Star Wars. More Trekkie than Star Wars. So, um, so I'm going to show you guys what we did end up getting. And I'm sorry if my camera is a little wonky. The lighting is weird right now because it's early morning, and I had to move over a little bit. I'm trying to the direct. It's just too direct. The sun's coming right in the window. I had to close the curtain and everything, but it's still a little bit bright. So I apologize for that. But I wanted to get this filmed um, this morning uh, and edited and, and get it out. So. All right, I'm going to show you guys what we got yesterday, uh, what we ended up buying. So you guys can see we went to uh, Dick's Sporting Goods. That's where we shopped yesterday. My husband needed to get a couple of things. So he went over and uh, what he did was he got his golf uh, clubs regripped. So he's getting ready for a golf tournament. Oh, I, sorry, I am not into golf. Um, I have a lot of friends who are into golf and they probably yawn when they I talk about lifting but I, uh, I I'm not I do like to go out and just watch my husband hit and things like that uh, my my son played golf in uh, high school and in, he played tennis in college but I think he did a little bit of golfing in college so um, I'm just not into that at all and uh, but my friends are and one day I said, well, maybe I'll go drive the cart for you. Uh, but I'm not, I may get into golfing as I get older. I think it's a really good sport to get into. And I would definitely get into it just so I can hang out with my husband and all of our friends and have a drink on the, you know, I mean, that seems like a lot of fun. And I, so I probably will eventually get into golfing. Uh, the only golf clubs I have right now are, we did get me a set and I've used them one time and I've had them for probably 15, 20 years. So that's how not into golf I am. 
but he did need to, he's got a tournament coming up. So it's a, like a fundraiser tournament. So he is going, he got his golf clubs regripped and he got these, uh, Diablo tour, um, golf balls, three of them. They were on sale at Dick's. Okay. He also got some, uh, tees, some new, uh, professional tee system. He got some of these golf tees. I know nothing about this stuff, so I'm going to now move that aside and get on to the stuff that I'm excited about. So while he was over there looking, you know, getting his golf clubs regripped, he only had to get two gripped. He's actually, um, yeah, he just got two grip, new grips. I went over and looked at the weights. And I, what I want to get is some kind of a squat rack because I'm not, I'm not doing a lot of weights. I squat, like when I do barbells, I'm... You know, I do the squats. I'm doing maybe, um, let me think, 40 pounds right now. And I'm not planning to do a whole lot of weight. So I'm not trying to, you know, bulk up or anything like that. I'm just lifting and being safe and trying to challenge myself enough to keep me interested. Um, but what I notice is right now I have to lift my barbell from the ground, bring it up and up over my head and onto my shoulders. Uh, to squat and I can't lift as much weight. I can squat more weight than I can uh, lift it up like that. So that's, to me, that's kind of dangerous. If I'm going to move up in my weight, I can't keep doing that. Uh, now at the gym, I have access, of course, to, um, at the, at the Y when I belonged there, I had, uh, a, like a squat machine, like, um, a rack. So I could actually, you know, pull the barbell right off the rack and put it on my shoulder or get up underneath it and then bring it up and squat. Then at Planet Fitness, they don't have that. They only have a Smith machine. So I had to use a Smith machine at Planet Fitness, which is fine. It's still better than trying to bring it up off the ground and over my head. But I really want just a little a, a kind of a rack here at my house so that I can start doing that and, and feel, just be a little safe. I don't wanna do anything um, that's, that's potentially going to hurt me. I don't need that. Um, so I did look at a couple of those and I'm not sure if, you know, where I'm not going to buy, I didn't buy us a, a one yesterday. Um, I, I showed you guys here in the clip what I'm looking at or the kind of thing I'm looking at, but honestly, our basement ceiling, I don't know how, I've got to measure and make sure and see how tall I can go. I don't, like I said, I'm not, a, I'm like five, four, uh, but my husband's taller. So I want to get something he can use too. All right. So. Um, but here's what I did get that I was excited about. And they were two, the, the 10 pound weights and, um, they were on sale. So if you guys are near Dick's Sporting Goods and you need some of these, they were, these were $10 a piece. The, I think the five pounds were like, oh, like three pounds or $3 or $4. They, they, maybe they were $5. It, I guess it comes up to about a pound, a dollar a pound is now what I'm thinking. So I got two. Let's see if I can lift both. Oh my gosh, I'm weak this morning. I did shoulders yesterday. Uh, two 10 pounds. So, so I was really, um, that's what I got excited about. That was my haul was the weights. And then my husband had all the, excuse me, the golf stuff. Huh. Anyway, that was my shopping haul. And uh, yeah, sorry, the lighting is a little off today, but that's our video today. Um, yep, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, oh, I did get my taxes done, by the way. Yes, I did that on Friday, and that ugh, such a weight off my shoulders. <laughs> anyway, um, yep, so I hope you guys are having a great weekend, and don't forget, uh, before you go, to like, subscribe, and ring that bell, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. There's probably something better I could say, but... Good morning. At least it's morning when I'm recording this. And uh, anyway, I'm way more chatty during. Ugh. I wanted to just share with you a little bit. God, my camera is like wonky. All right, I'm locked in the eighth, whatever.